and uh, thank you so much for the phone call and the and the interview um i'm walking so the re- reception should be all right i will try to be quick and answer all the questions so first of all um, i just heard about the involving if you want to say that that uh, about the corbucci in the last movie of tarantino i have no idea how much is a secret and how much i can talk about it so i'm gonna be very generic because i don't want to spoil the movie or say something that i can't and it's it's good i mean it's 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 a funny so something will happen during the movie in the end uh, with one of the character and he will involve italy and and corbucci i think it was very smart i think he's a he's a good uh, evolving of the story people will like it and i'm super happy because my you know bruno and sergio deserve a lot of more attention than what Italy and Italian press ever, ever give to them. They are great directors and, and they had a fantastic career with some of amazing movies. The Big Silent is one of my favorite movies. I really love that movie, but not only that, so many, many, many more. So I'm happy. I'm really happy. And I support 100% Tarantino talking about the Corbucci in, in, in any way. It's really fantastic. Mm. The second question, yeah, the movie, the new movie is, is long, um, but uh, Quentin likes to shoot um, long movies, and and I agree with him. I mean, if you're gonna go to a movie theater and sit down and relax to watch a movie, I want my audience too to be there for for a couple of hours at least. So, with the time, the studios sometimes push to be to release small movies or around the 75, 80, 90 minutes. Um, and when you write a story, I don't think so there is a perfect timing. When you're going production and then you're going to editing, I think sometimes, you know, you realize that your movie needs more time or less time. I don't think that that a time should regulate a movie, should be the other way around, you know, a movie should regulate regulate the timing that he's having and for this reason tv shows now in vod are gorgeous because they don't really care about how long uh, an episode should be and i think this is perfect you know it should be it can be 47 minutes 58 62 there are some tv shows that they don't fall off timing at all and i really enjoy that um, and then i think that post-production and editing is a really important element for Quentin and people underestimate what a good editor is Quentin even if you use other editors he's very 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 deep into post-production I mean um, he's a filmmaker that devote his life for movies so when he starts a project or is in production or in post-production he spends 100% of his time um doing uh, what he's doing so um, when he's in post production he's focused 100% and the details the read is i think is one of the most important elements of quentin that people don't consider much is is what a great editor is is, is quentin and how he's able to to edit perfectly with the footage and the and the material that he has you know so um, I know that um, press and critics didn't speak much about this in his career, but but uh, I really, really think the editing process for Quentin is a is, is a very, very important process, and is a master is a master of 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 editing. He's, he's not only a master of production and shooting, but also of editing. You know, and I think he. He got that from the first movies already. He's, he has something like intuition of what uh, to put in, put out, how to do it, what to put next to. It's, it's really an intuition because um, a lot of directors are good on shooting on production, but, but then the movies are boring just because they, they push so much on the wrong scenes or the wrong directions during the editing. And, and Quentin looks like he has this um unbelievable way of smell the right combination of of scenes and, and shots 
And then the last question, I'm shooting a, a sci-fi TV show and I really love it because of what I told you that you are, the freedom uh, on everything is, 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 is insane. And I am probably going to release in December uh, of this year and we're finished the first episode. And yeah, my my way to approach a movie in in post production is 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 uh, I don't know if it's a secret or is uh, you know you are curious about that. Um, if it's a secret, I'm I'm open to reveal my secret. So let's say that every single movie that I that I did, I directed, um, my trick is to use only a partial of the budget. Let's say if my last movie was ten million dollars, I will shoot the movie in production with like five or six and because I already know that when I finish the, the principal photography I get so many inspiration that I have always some extra scenes to shoot and, and a post-production to face so I know already that I was gonna shoot the 10% of the movie after the end of uh, final um, photography and and this is because the characters that they are inside your movies are alive if you're lucky so when you start a movie some actors are better than others some actors they like the characters more than others so they go in one direction that that works more than others so they're alive and for this reason if you have a budget to go after um these scenes that um these these characters are opening and um, is is great for for the result and you may find um, plot twist actually that that are better than than others. So I think the production is a very dynamic um, process, and for this reason I always arrive there with a lot of my budget. This is the reason why when we met I told you that I never use my my majority of the budget on on, on principal photography. And, and until now, I feel very comfortable in this position. I don't know anybody else directing that is doing the same that I'm doing. I, I think Christopher Nolan one time spoke, speaking with him roughly at the DGA, told me something similar. But he, he, he's a master, so he ended up to, to give back money to, to the investors because he's able to finish the movies with, with less than what they were um, considering. That is also unbelievable. And my post-production instead, hmm, I don't like to edit, but I because I get very frustrated. But I'm I'm a good editor. Maybe my best skill is editing. That's the paradox. Um, so I'm very very involved in editing. I prefer to have an editor, even if this TV show I'm editing myself and um, few episodes. I prefer to have an editor because he's a fresh point of view and he's quicker. So if I have an editor, he's, this person is quicker to understand which scene and, and which part of what we shot is working better than other. Instead, if I need to edit, I need to watch everything and then I need to rewatch editing. I need to be very objective with myself and, and then I put together and then I start to cut, to cut, to cut until I have uh, the rough uh, edit of of the episode of or, or or the movie. So the process for me is much longer than if I was an editor to another director, because I need to judge myself. So I I, I 